leave a message after the tone. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing another 24 hour challenge, but today I'm only gonna be eating fast food. I've done a video where I only ate McDonald's for 24 hours, so I guess it's kind of similar, but today I'm gonna to be eating as many different fast food places as I can in 24 hours. That doesn't mean me like constantly eating, just like when I'm hungry, I'm gonna to have to get it from a fast food place. Bearing in mind, I live in a very small area that isn't actually a load of fast food places is really to choose from we're gonna be quite kind of like shortened with our choices here and then a lot of people are gonna be like but Anna this is your diet anyway well it's not I have McDonald's like once a week possibly twice a week if I'm like desperate so no it is not my diet at all no matter how many people think that it is the first place I am going to go to is McDonald's just because that's the only fast food place in my area that does a breakfast option so I don't really have much of a choice there. The current time is 9.30 so I've got an hour till it ends. I'm going to leave in about 10 minutes. I'm going to go and get my favourite breakfast I think because I'm a bit of a sucker for McDonald's pancakes. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. I know you love the 24 hour challenges so let me know any other 24 hour videos you want me to do down below and other than that, Let's get started. I've just come out and it has snowed like a fair bit as well. First time driving in the snow. Hi, can I get a pancake and sausage meal, please? You guys make my next window when you can, please. Thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Thank you, you too. I've got my food, I've got pancakes. I'm pretty sure that I just heard everybody in McDonald's say that they were jealous because the guy's gonna be in my video. Um, but I got my food, so I'm gonna sit and eat it now. Atticus was like, where are you going, Anna? And I was like, nowhere, because he needed to go to school and I didn't want to tell him that I was going to McDonald's. So I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna eat it in the car. Just because this is my favorite part. Oh, that is so good. I'm gonna sit now. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I'll talk to you guys when I have to eat next. That is my breakfast done and finished with. Now I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna have for my lunch takeaway and my dinner takeaway. The current time is now one minute past 12, so it is time for me to order my lunch. There's quite a few videos going around on YouTube at the moment where people are testing the worst rated restaurants in their area versus the best rated restaurants in their area. So I'm gonna head on to Just See and I'm gonna type in my postcode and I'm gonna change the search results to the customer rating and then I'm gonna scroll right down to the bottom Autumn and I'm gonna have to order my lunch from the worst rated takeaway. I'm on Just Eat and my Just Eat is in Spanish or a different language that I don't know. All of the restaurants in my area have got a pretty good rating so this might not work as well as I thought. Oh, that's because I've got five stars on, never mind. I think for my lunch, I'm gonna have to go for the best rated because the best rated one is open, but the worst rated one isn't open. I guess we're ordering from a restaurant called The Piazza, which I've never actually heard of before. Didn't even know we actually had a restaurant called that. I fancy mac and cheese. Okay, I'm gonna get mac and cheese because that sounds, that sounds good. I really don't know what else to go for. Let's go on side dishes and see what they do on side dishes. <gasps> halloumi slices oh my god i want to try the halloumi i'm getting a lot of cheese i kind of wanted like chips or something but i don't actually know if they do chips oh they do wedges and a basket so i'm gonna get the mac and cheese the halloumi slices and the wedges so i'm gonna check out and then we can see what it's like food has arrived i'd say it took like 15 20 minutes like it really didn't take long at all the woman who delivered it was lovely and it come in this like brown bag type thing and normally they just give you the boxes so i mean like packaging wise pretty sick okay let's open it up and see what i've got i'm pretty sure that might be the halloumi because that's really light and then this is probably going to be the wedges i like how it's packaged they get like excited about stuff like that and then in this one is the mac and cheese i think and that's a decent size okay let's open <gasps> really hot let's open this up and see what it looks like how beautiful does that look i'm a bit of a sucker for mac and cheese i'm not gonna lie to you like it's one of my favorite things ever and then i'm guessing this is the halloumi in here so oh, oh i didn't even know you could order this watch me be getting this every day for lunch and then in here are the wedges oh my god oh my god they look amazing oh my god i was trying to take a thumbnail and spill it on my leg no oh my god it's burning me okay taste test with the mac and cheese even though i've already just had to eat a little bit off my legging because it's really hot not gonna lie it tastes like 
the Heinz mac and cheese. Like, you know when you buy it out of the tin, it does taste like that. Like, they've put it in a container and then, like, grated cheese on top of it. I'm not gonna lie. It's really creamy. And then the top bit is, like, really crispy. I think that's good. Like, around my area, a lot of the takeaways are literally just, like, pizza, kebab, chicken. So... To have something like this is actually really nice and refreshing, I'm not going to lie. Next is a halloumi. I had no idea that I'd be able to order halloumi. Wow. That is some good halloumi. I can't believe I only started liking this like a couple of months ago. I've been missing out for my 18 years. I can 100% see why this is rated one of the like best takeaways in my town. So good. That was really big to swallow. That's what she said. <laughs> And then the wedges, I mean, to be fair, wedges are wedges, but they're like, they're hot. They're like home cooked. They're nice. If you have a piazza, I don't know if it's like just a local thing in my area, but if you have one, definitely you should order something from here. This is really good. It's rated like five stars, so. I'm definitely intrigued to see what the worst rated restaurant is gonna be like, just because I found it online already and I've heard of it and it's, that's all I'm saying. Not her good things. But this is good though. Really, really like it. Just as a close-up so you guys can see the cheese and how good it actually is. Just to make you a bit jealous if you're hungry right now. Sorry about it. <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit later now. I'm really hungry, I'm not gonna lie. It is nine minutes to five and I am gonna order my dinner from the worst rated restaurant in my town. The worst rated restaurant is called Tasty Bites or Tasty Bits and it's rated two stars, like literally everywhere I've looked. And I'm gonna order a meal off there. I have no idea what to get. I have heard of it before and like, you know, like when you just hear things like, yeah, don't order from there. I've always heard my friends say that. I'm getting the website up now on my phone. I'm gonna place an order. I'm pretty sure it's like a pizza type kebab shop, which to be honest, is like what the majority of takeaways are around my area anyway part of me actually wants to try kebab i want salad with it oh we get a sauce option so I go for barbecue sauce okay add to basket that didn't add add to basket they do loads of stuff on here do i get a pizza but i'm not really going to eat a pizza to be honest what's under starters and size chips onion rings garlic mushrooms mozzarella sticks garlic pizza bread that sounds quite nice and i know i've got meat in the kebab but i'm really funny about eating it just in case i get food poisoning is anybody else just terrified they're gonna get food poisoning i think i'm gonna get some mozzarella sticks and i'm gonna get them with salsa or chili i am back with my takeaway and literally mum opened the door and she grabbed it and then she just shouted up to me what have you ordered and i was like take she went it stinks anna so it might not be the best smelling thing in the world i'm not gonna lie i think these are the barbecue beans bloody massive and then let's have a look at what is in here they're nice they are some of the best chips i've ever had thousand island sauce and then this must be the mozzarella sticks and then the bottom one it's like a bad. oh don't know about them oh, i'm saying i've never tried a kebab i have tried one but like it's not my go-to option like do you know what i mean this is quite a meal i've got here i'm not gonna lie well i would normally get mozzarella sticks and chips actually and barbecue beans okay i'm gonna try the kebab first normally i'll only have a kebab i'm not gonna lie if i'm feeling a bit hungover so oh it tastes like a kebab oh no that's not kebab no way in hell is that a kebab. I don't know what that tastes like, but it ain't a kebab. That tastes like raw meat, but not like, oh no. Oh my God, I'm actually shocked. Okay, I'm gonna have some of the, oh, I just put it all over the bed. The salad is fresh. Mm. The salad part of it's good. I don't know what the hell is going on with that kebab though. I'm gonna whip open my barbecue beans because I'm really hoping I like these. I'm literally not joking. They don't taste of anything. So tasteless. Mum? No. Come here. Tell me. It stinks. It's disgusting. It doesn't like a takeaway. It's disgusting. <laughs> no, it's gross. I can't stand it. Put a chip in his barbecue beans and tell me if it tastes like barbecue beans. Just a little bit, but... I wish you could bear, but... <laughs> it's not very nice. It doesn't taste like a kebab. Let's get it out in the banana because it's going to make the room stink, darling. This is the two star. They smell funky, but they're nice. They're okay, but they're nothing special, are they? Come on, should we take it downstairs now? Well, I'm in, I'm in it. You're going to eat the kebab? The salad. How much was this? £15. 
Oh. Don't get me wrong, it's not a bad take. You thought you didn't like it. But you're eating it anyway. <laughs> it's not a bad takeaway at all. But I can see why it's rated two star. Just so you guys can properly see it, this is like definitely a greasy meal that you'd have like after a night out or something. It is so late right now and it is chucking it down with snow. It is 25 to 12 and I am going to go to KFC now. I've, oh my God, it's snowing so much. I got my food, but the light in the car is so awful, but I've got my food, I'm taking it home. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is gonna be my last fast food for today. Even though it's four minutes past 12 and I am gonna have to get breakfast from a fast food place in the morning, I'm only one takeaway left and it feels so good. I just want a home cooked meal. Why do we have two ash Because I've got one. Thank you. Here is the last of my 24 hour challenge, my last fast food breakfast. I got a sausage, egg and cheese and muffin from McDonald's with a hash brown and then Atticus has also got a bagel. Yeah, I've got and I don't know yet. <laughs> and that's it, my last meal of this challenge is over. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know some other 24 hour challenges that you wanna see down below. And other than that, I will see you on Wednesday at 6 p.m. for a brand new video. What challenge do you want me to do next? Uh, KFC one. He just said to me he wants me to eat KFC for 24 hours. No, that's it, what I'm gonna say.